Okay guys, I am back with another grocery haul. And yes, I still have old dirty hair. I don't care, I just keep having Allie rebraid it and I just stick her little bands in and I go. Anyway, TMI probably, you don't care. But I'm gonna share some of my grocery haul with you guys um, that I got for this week again. And keep in mind, okay, I try to stay on plan at least Monday through Friday or Sunday through Thursday. Our, um, our treat meal, we typically, I like to have it on Friday or Saturday, personally. End out the week, like that's just, I don't know, my comfort thing. We typically would have like a movie night and popcorn with M&Ms, I don't know, anyway. But this is some of the healthier stuff that I purchased for the week, specifically for myself. The family eats it though. I don't cook separate for them. Now they can opt to eat mac and cheese instead of these veggie um, spiral noodles. Sometimes they'll opt to do that. But I bought, this is, a lot of this is freezer food guys. So it will not go bad if I look at it this week and I go, I don't really wanna eat that. But I have been loving all things bird's eye and I'm not a veggie lover. I repeat that over and over. I do not love veggies. But bird's eye has been tried and true, a tried and true like favorite of mine. So I bought their frozen veggie spirals for this week. So we're gonna give those a try. I don't know what I'm putting on them yet. Um, I may just salt and pepper them. I have not decided. Then I got some frozen mahi mahi. I got some, this stuff is so good, wild Pacific salmon. I don't, we're, we're, I'm normally weird about salmon, but this stuff is amazing. It's pre-portioned um, and I just air fry this. So I got wild salmon and it's on sale right now. Um, so I've actually bought two packs and I threw one in the deep freezer. Then we love some popcorn shrimp. So I just bought the already breaded, not super healthy, but we'll air fry this and um, eat it this week as well, just to change things up. My child that does not like to eat veggies, I find creative things that I can get him to eat them. So this is loaded cauliflower, kind of like loaded baked potatoes. Um, it's got bacon and chives on it. It's got white cheddar and he loves this. And it's in the freezer, organic freezer section but it is super good too. So I bought that for this week. If he doesn't eat it this week, it doesn't matter. It's frozen, it's not gonna go bad. Then got the hubby some chunk light tuna that he can throw on with some of his rice or whatever. I also got a ready to go chicken salad. Um, this Miss Grissom's brand, I've never tried it. I normally make my own chicken salad, but we're gonna give it a shot this week. Then for veggie dipping, I got some hummus. I also did get some pita chips because they're good too. Then I got my two good yogurt, two grams of sugar and like 12 grams of protein. Amazing, if you need some yogurt, this stuff is awesome. I'm not a big yogurt fan anyway, but this stuff is really good, but I will only eat it if I load it with fruit or granola. We are trying this Love Crunch granola this week. Um, it is an organic granola and it's dark chocolate macaroon and I love all of those. So I'm going to add that to my coconut flavored yogurt for the week. And that's typically like a morning snack for me. Um, or if I don't take a protein for lunch, this is a great substitute for my protein. And this is a great substitute for the carb for lunch. Um, then I did splurge um, on these because so many people talk about them, but the Smart Sweets, I've already opened them, you can see. There is three grams of sugar in this bag, and these are sweet fish, like Swedish fish. There's only three grams of sugar in this whole bag, and they taste exactly like Swedish fish. They are so good. Very pricey, so not gonna be a normal item that I purchased. I bought one bag. I think that one bag was like $2.50 or something stupid like that. So just a treat, just to try. Um, I think, oh, I did get this and I've already started dipping veggies in it, but it is a spinach um, sour cream dip. And I thought that that was a good option to dip veggies. It does have four and a half grams of fat. Um, 
in two tablespoons, but I feel like two tablespoons is a pretty decent serving to dip some veggies in. So I got that for the week to get more veggies down. I hope you guys find this helpful. Back there, I have um, loaded hash browns actually cooking in the crock pot. Um, not a super healthy item, but they're good and it's okay. Like I could have those with my lunch during the day. That would be my carb. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know and give me some feedback on these videos if you find them helpful or not. And I hope you are having a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.